If you want to see me reveal the next two gift boxes out of the Shoppers Drug Mart Advent Calendar for 2020, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. And I am here to play with this year-long Advent Calendar reveal. I uh, have just decided that I have so much fun using an advent calendar all year that when I buy an advent calendar around the holidays, I actually keep it for the next year. And it's perfect because there are usually 24 products and I can just reveal two per month and just feel like it's Christmas all year round. That is why I do it. And this advent calendar from Shoppers Drug Mart was a pretty, a pretty amazing. I think it was 92 bucks or something like that uh, before the Shoppers Drug Mart discounts and the products are deluxe size or in some cases full size products of me mid tier to um, luxury brands. So I'm really, really happy to be playing with a bunch of new products or rediscovering some products that I have used that are actually pretty good quality. So let's talk about what it is that I revealed last month and then we'll see what the next uh, two boxes bring. So today I am not really wearing foundation. I have a little bit of concealer under my eyes and around my nose, but you can really see my skin in this video and I've got a little black speck. Why didn't you tell me I had a little black speck on my face? Anything else going on? No, I don't think so. Okay, so the reason I'm showing you uh, my uh, face, neck, uh, a little bit of my uh, décolleté is because I committed to using this tinted moisturizer in the last video. That is one of the products that I revealed. And I'm really happy that I, I used it because I got a really good feel for what it does. And it does really make me feel like I have a bit of a tan. So I didn't want to put foundation or anything because then you wouldn't be able to see my skin color. I do have blush and highlighter on, uh, but it, I still think that this gives you a good idea of, of what uh, the skin tint looks like. Now I'm quite fair, so I can just show you my skin usually, and you can see that I'm deeper um, for the headshot compared to my skin usually. I am pretty happy about it. It's called an everyday tint, uh, everyday tinted moisturizer and primer. And I think it worked well. The only thing that I will say is a substantial amount of color goes, comes off when I put a, um, a toner on. And I don't know if a toner just would just continuous, continuously dissolve this kind of thing, but I used it every day. So I was not shy in applying this and uh, because I wanted to really see what what the damage was, what it would do to my skin. And I am i didn't think I'd like it, but I do. I do. So if I want to, for an event or something, I just want to look a, a deeper, more sun-kissed look than my natural look of pretty white. I'm on the light, yellow undertone light side. Um, this would be nice for me to feel like I blend into people who are not necessarily sun worshippers, but who spend more time in the sun than me. Not that I'm insecure about that, but if I feel like it, I think it would be fun. I wouldn't have a problem uh, using this product again. And I am very curious to know how much this costs because um, just curious. I just want to know if it's the same kind of cost as a regular moisturizer and primer. I, I would. I think I would like to have this product around in the summertime. And just to complete the, the review, it did not bother my skin. It felt like just a regular moisturizer. And I do think we, we need to heed the suggestion to wash our hands thoroughly after application because the, it does get kind of caught in between the fingers. And I, I one day I almost missed a spot of washing off on my hands. And I'm sure that I would have had a very deep um, spot here between my middle and ring finger. So just a cautionary note there. Now for this, this was a uh, two for one in uh, box, I think uh, number seven, no eight, box number eight last month. 
Um, this little pairing came together in one box um, within the box for, from Smashbox. So this one is a uh, primer that is the Smooth and Blur. Yeah, Smooth and Blur. And it does indeed smooth and blur. And I think I can do it on my hand here just to show you. So this is what my hand normally looks like. So you can see the texture on my hand. And let's do a little blurring, shall we? Let me just put a little dab of it on my hand. And let's see how smooth my hand can get. It, I was pretty impressed with its blurring ability. I think that you can see the difference on my hand a little bit here. It just kind of smooths, it really does. It really smooths things out. I don't know if you can tell the difference between my two hands, but it does, it does make uh, a difference on the skin. And so I was using it right here and around my nose and on my chin. And I really like that. It, it virtually made my pores, I don't have huge pores, but they did make my pores disappear uh, before I went ahead and put foundation. And I don't mind it, I don't mind it. Um, and then this one is uh, was five mil, which is a lot for a mini of the Super Fan uh, mascara. And I'm not a huge fan of the wand and it did not do very much for my upper lashes. I just found that it was it was more of a lengthening and defining mascara as opposed to volumizing. So what I've been doing it is I've been using it on my lower lashes. And, I, and in fa all fairness to the mascara, I pinch off the ends because my lower lashes are pretty long. So it's not, if you can see the ends of my lashes, it's not because it's not covering it properly. I actually pinch off the mascara because otherwise I feel like um, a French clown, you know, the, the clown's called Pierrot. That's what I feel like I look like <laughs> if I if I let my lower lashes completely get coated with mascara. Upper lashes, I don't have an issue, but that I did not put this one on the upper lashes because, like I said, it didn't feel like it had much impact. What I'm wearing today is the Lash Brag by ABH. But um, do I like this for lower lashes? Yes. But it definitely is not my favorite just because I like volumizing mascaras so much more. Like the Stila Huge, the Monsieur Big from Lancome, and the Lash Brag from uh, ABH. Those are more the mascaras that I am um, drawn to purchase. Okay, reviews are done for what I revealed last month. Now we are in, we're heading into the month of May. And the month of May would mean the fifth month. So I should be revealing products number nine and 10. So let's take a look in here and find them. So we have number nine right here. Hope you can see it, number nine. And 10 is right up here. So let me free up those boxes and we'll see what's inside. And no, I have not cheated. I have no idea what's in those boxes. Okay, so I have box number nine here. Let's see if I can open it up. Opened up pretty easily. Now let's see what's inside. No way, no way. Okay. Oh yes. Okay, when I'm telling you this advent calendar is fantastic, look what I just got. The Stila Stale Day Liquid uh, Liner. I love this liner. Now I am not, let's see how much there is in here, uh, 0.008 fluid ounces. So it is really quite a mini, but here's the thing. I'm not going to use this little guy in here because um, I have one of these on the go. So what I'm going to do is for the month of May, I'm going to use the one because, because I always have a bunch of liners going at the same time for the month of May, I'm going to use my Stila liner exclusively or for the majority of the time is what I'll say and uh, and put this one aside in my backups because I don't see why I would um, use this one although I should show you the tip just in case there's any sort of difference between it and oh no it's the same it's a very very nice uh, liner it is one of my favorites I have some favorites um, I really enjoy the Fenty fly liner I enjoy the KVD Trooper and um, Trooper Tattoo. 
tattoo liner, I think. Anyway, the the I have some of the, the minis of the KVD Vegan Beauty Liner and I'm pretty sure it's the tattoo liner. And then, uh, so I said Fly Liner, Stila, and KVD Vegan Beauty. Those are those are the big ones as far as my favorite uh, liners go, if you're curious. So I'll put this one in my backups, and like I said, I will use my Stila liner. I don't want to be wasteful. I don't want to open one up given I have another one on the go. But I highly, highly recommend this brand's eyeliner. I think it gives you a crisp line, looks great, stays all day. As, as the name implies, it does stay all day. Okay, now for the big box that has me very interested, intrigued even. I need my trusty bamboo stick to open this box up without tearing it. There we go. Something's shaking in here. Oh! Nice! The eye-opening vegan mascara by Lise Watier. That is so neat. Now I have a bunch of mascaras on the go, but I will try this one. I had the super fan last month, so let's take a look at the wand on this one. So it looks like a defining mascara based on what I see on the wand. And so what does it say again? Eye opening. No idea. And it says it's, um, it's a vegan mascara with uh, black quinoa. So no idea. How much is in here does it say? Ultra black and it is um, point, point through, is it 0.35 or 3.5? I can't tell. Made in Italy but it's so small I can't tell. Maybe the camera will magnify it for us. I can't tell if it's 0.35 or 3.5. Not sure. I'm hoping it's 3.5. That would make sense for a um, mini mascara otherwise there's really not a whole lot of product in here but that's great I got a liner and I got a mascara what a great pairing for this month of May coming up yeah I'm I'm really happy about that let me know what you think of the two picks do you have a favorite in the couple things that I talked about today actually I guess all four five things five things that I talked about uh, today two that I revealed and three that I had last month I am all ears I'd love to hear from you with that I will say thank you so much for watching I appreciate it every single time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video but for now as always take care